Oh my god, how are you such a good driver? Because there's illegal shit in here. <laughs> because if I don't use my turn signal, we're both going to do 15. Because I'm going to lie and say it's yours. Put your seatbelt on, sweetheart. You are not safe. I'm not saying that I'm better at Halloween than you. I'm just saying that I've been ghosted multiple times. <laughs> Such a bold departure from the original source material. Hey, folks, ain't it pretty? Look who's back in New York City. Since your life's been super shitty, let's start on, you know, the whole being dead thing. Holy crap. A ballad already. <laughs> And such a bold departure from the original source material. Hey, folks, ain't it pretty? Look who's back in New York City. Since your life's been super shitty, let's start on, you know, the whole being dead thing. You're doomed. Enjoy the singing. The sword of Damocles is swinging. And if I hear your cell phone ringing, I'll kill you myself. The whole being dead thing. Death can get a person stressed. We should have carpeted way more DMs. Now we're never gonna see them. I can show you what comes next, so don't be freaked. Stay in your seats. I do this bullshit like eight times a week. So just relax, you'll be fine. Drink your $50 wine and take a breath. Welcome to a show about death. You're, you're gonna be fine. On the other side. Die! You're all gonna die! You're all gonna die! I'll be your guide to the other side. So in full disclosure, it's a show about death. Everybody gets on fine here, like Rogers, Hart, and Hammerstein here. The women's bathroom has no line here. Just pee where you want. The whole being dead thing. You're just gonna love the folks here. Yeah, I know you're woke, but you could take a joke here. And every show, I do like a ton of coke here. The whole, oh, the whole being dead thing. Nobody is bulletproof. I work out, I eat clean. Jesus, pass the Dramamine. Time to face the brutal truth. Might not live till Christmas Choke to death on Triscuits Hey, that's just statistics So take a little break here It's kinda like a wake here The scenery is fake here But there's a giant snake here! Miss Argentina's little accident. In Beetlejuice, Miss Argentina works as the underworld's front desk receptionist. She says, if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have had my little accident. She's referring to not knowing that after life loss states, those who die by unaliving are assigned to work in customer service. She regrets her decision as it left her stuck in her current position.
All you gotta do is say my name. I don't know your name. Well, I can't say it. How about a game of charades? Yes, let's play it. Two words. Right. Second word. Uh -huh. Drink. No. Beverage. No. Wine. No. Juice. Yes. Okay. First word. Okay. Bug. No. Ant. Close, but no. Beetle. Yes. Beetle juice. Wow, I'm impressed. And all you gotta do is say my name three times. Three times in a row. It must be spoken unbroken. Ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Beetle juice. Yeah. Being a sequel to Beetlejuice, can you confirm or deny this? Um, I think I can confirm it because Tim Burton did this inner like it was very hush hush top secret. I don't know what it might happen. I don't know. And then he did what he was doing some press for Big Eyes, and he did an on camera interview, and he said, "Oh yeah, we're doing it, and Winona's going to be." And I, it's very exciting. And I was like. <laughs> Very exciting news. Well, can I say that? I yeah. mean, if he said it, I If he said it, then you can't. You, that's just, it's on the record. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. Love she lied. Hello, Halloween fans. My giant sandworm from Spirit Halloween is finally here, and it's absolutely perfect. It's both bigger and more detailed than I expected it to be. It's made of this nice, heavy-duty, blow-mold plastic that fits very snugly onto the lawn sticks that it came with. The entire sandworm has this nice, dimpled texture which makes it look very realistic. The paint job is pretty good too, with only a few spots on the face it could use a touch-up. Overall, I give it an A+, and recommend it to anyone who loves feel just spooky stuff, or Halloween. My face looks like it belongs in this show. Yeah, it's probably because I look like a gangly little freak, but I'll take it. It's me, Roach Soda. <laughs> I'm Beetlejuice's cousin. <laughs> Tonight, I In order of importance in the show. <laughs> sure, you might even say mover number three, Beetlejuice. Yeah. You yeah. might even say it. Let's end the conversation now so we can't correct it. Beetlejuice. 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 Hey, man. Whoa! Hey everybody, it's me, Beetlejuice. Wow. Break a leg tonight, Carl. Thank you so much, Beetlejuice. All right. It's a pleasure to be in your show, bro. It's showtime. So what's this? Is, this is real. Wow. This is real. This you can see all of my cynicism and sarcasm went away. Now can you? <laughs> now you, can you look right there and say Beetlejuice loves Keith's hot sauce? When I want to reach for a hot sauce, I reach for Keith's. Oh. But how? We just died. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time moves differently when you're dead, but boy, does it move. Hey, stop that! Yeah, Put tell him, Adam. Down. Get in there, back. Let's give them both barrels. That doesn't you belong thieves. to you! Hey! Ah. They can't see us. Keen observation, Adam. <laughs> I didn't see you. You didn't. I didn't look didn't at you. I was trying to get you. I didn't look at you. I didn't look at you. Adrenaline just pounded. You nailed it. Come on. You nailed it. <laughs> You did. I remember nothing. <laughs> Good, you did it right. Yeah. Here, you can play this part. Thank you so much. I am exhausted. Oh, yeah. Here you go. This is my part, right? Yeah, it's just okay. you play her father. You've got 700 uh, lines. Oh, uh, oh, you know, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, me too. Let's go to the bathroom. Dana, yeah. Yeah. Well, Dana's a little one. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to run up here. Cool. Ready? Yeah. High five, six, seven, eight.
all three Beetlejuices meeting. Whoa! You know, this is a pre- <gasps> Why, hello there, handsome. <gasps> hello to you, too. So, what's your name? I can't say my name. <gasps> Neither can I. Both of you are fucking stupid. We are all the same person. You look like you fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. And then got ran over by a lawnmower. You two are worse than that little bitch up there. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I know for a fact your musty, dusty, crusty mouth is not talking about my lids. Yeah. She's a backstabber, but understandably so. I had the perfect plan. I was gonna marry her, murder her, live out the rest of my life in Tahiti. And here I was thinking I was evil because I was just gonna use her as a green card. Handsome, you're on thin ice. But I'm gonna kill you. You're one of a kind, Beetlejuice. Don't ever change. Alright. I won't. <laughs> <laughs>
low maintenance one because there weren't too many like I got food poisoning in the middle of the show and I had to leave, but that wasn't like that's not a mishap. That's just <laughs> pooping my pants in the middle of a number and having to leave the stage. Um, and so I think my favorite mishap was the set is very big and all that kind of stuff. And I moved on in a number where I was sitting on a, a, a roof and the set stopped and they couldn't get it to keep moving. So there's a vamp playing and I'm wait- and I can tell something's wrong and the audience is I'm staring at the audience. I'm looking at them and they're laughing and I'm sort of here and uh, I say, hi, everyone. I go, hi, hi, everyone. And then they laughed and then the set then moved off stage. I went, bye, everyone, <laughs> and then left. And then when we got it all situated, the uh, the curtain rose on the scene that had w- we left off on. And I just said during the vamp before I sang, I said, previously on Beetlejuice. Nice. And then the audience was right back on our Oh my god! Say, told you! Oh, baby! You did, you did! You're so awesome! And look, you got little me, too! Get in here! Come here, baby! Get yourself to him and David. So, for some reason, I've decided to make this ridiculous Beetlejuice costume, and I'm gonna take you on the journey. Sort of. So yesterday I made like the base of the hat and I didn't film anything because I wasn't sure if it was going to work so I'm just going to explain now. I got these sheets of foam and then cut them up into little strips and then I just like hot glued them together. Here's a bit that I cut off. Then we've got these little individual balloon lights and I've just hot glued them all to the inside as you can see. I'm going to just put that to the side and work on the tie for a sec. Here's the finished tie. I'm cutting out little wing shapes from the foam. I've added some detailing and just shove it in the hat. I've made a shape that looks somewhat like a circle and I'm going to stick this onto here. Not bad. I just extended the brim because I didn't think it was big enough. I stopped narrating here for some reason, but I made a bat shape out of foam and then just used that as a stamp to like print it on all the outside pieces, then glued them to the brim. I did all this maths to work out how big the pieces needed to be, but then I realised I could just guess and it would be fine, so I just wasted my time. I've got to put the lights into the top, but it's already taken me 10 minutes to do two. It took me an hour, but all the lights are in. Film, but I added these foam bits to the top. I've got these little dragons, which, yes, are from How to Train Your Dragon, but I couldn't find anything better. Terrible paint job, so it looks a bit more beetle juicy. I hot glued some string to it and then glued it onto the carousel. I've attached all the things, so now I'm just going to put lights around the edge and then we're done with the hat part. I just used a bit of face paint to like dirty up the jacket so it looks more realistic. Okay, I've done my makeup and I'm now going to start putting my costume on. I'm going to start taking the pull tabs out of the lights and hope they don't die. Lit up my tie as well and I'm all done! Funny, but not funny, haha. Funny, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Wow, it sure does smell like wrong dog in here. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Ask. <laughs> If there's something that turns you on, if there's something that gets you excited, something that really gets you hot, makes you nasty, how about filling us in as to what the fuck it is? Do it if they don't know what the fuck it is. 
Tell us what you want. We'll do it. Will we do it, guys? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of women gonna be walking around New York tomorrow going, yeah, I went to this show last night. And... I come home and she's searching for haunted dolls. Like to buy on eBay to bring into our home. I'm like, what are you doing? You don't think this is a couple's decision? Just gonna try and bring a haunted doll in? Think I'm not gonna notice? I'm like, you don't have a doll collection to hide the haunted one amongst. You don't get a haunted doll by buying one on eBay, right? It comes into your life. That's how you get a haunted doll. You have to like get a job in Massachusetts in the fall or something. You have to like buy a house and the only house that's on the market is like this really old, creepy one, but it is very, it is very charming, you know, like all this stuff's super original. It's been on the market for way too long. Nobody wants to talk about it. And then uh, your kid's like, oh, I talked to Timmy the other day. And you're like, who the fuck is Timmy? And they're like, oh, it's a little boy that lives at the end of the hallway. And you're like, God damn this house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Emily, I just want to let you know that I heard that you've been talking some smack. And I just want you to know that I've been taking Taekwondo lessons in the back of the Walmart Super Center. So if you don't want to get hurt, then you better stop. It's really cute that you're going to defeat me with the power of friendship and all. But again, I am the devil from the Bible. So I don't know how you well You motherfucker, you didn't let me finish. Uh -huh. Hey kids, I'm on TikTok. You guys like this? Do you like me? If I do the funny Fortnite dances, will you follow this account? Ha ha ha! Please follow us. Oh god. I can't feel my legs. Don't you want to become a cult leader? Since the death of God, there's been a vacancy open. You could fill that void. Here's how. Promise to fulfill their dreams. Don't you want a world of unconditional love and brotherhood? We have the secrets to self-improvement. You can join us and be special. Join our elite mission to save the world. We can... These are my ladies. This is Jill. This is my lady Amy. Little Susie. Brianna. You know why we call her Brianna, right? No. <laughs> Uh, it's a long story. Shaniqua. Hell, God. People think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. Ayo, collector check. Show the most expensive item in your collection. The least expensive item in your collection. The item everyone wants to steal when they see your collection. The item that's least likely to be had by any other collector. Your first item in your collection. The newest item in your collection. The strangest item in your collection. And your favorite item in your collection. I can't like things in a chill way. No, I haven't figured out how to do that. When I like something, that's all I think about. It could be escapism or it could be my ADD. But if you suggest a show to me, beware. By now, you've probably guessed that I like Beetlejuice. Maybe it's because I have a shrine. Maybe it's because I bought all the merch out of Hot Top. Also, if you have the Hot Topic bed sheets that they sold, Please hit me up. I want them so bad. I look like shit right now, but this is what I'm talking about when I say in my last post the Hot Topic bed sheets. Here they are. Um, they're the Beetlejuice reversible comforter. I want it so bad, but they're sold out. <laughs> like, here's all the details. They're sold out. So if you have them, I am willing to purchase them off of you. So if you have this bed comforter set, please, 
please contact me on my Instagram or on here. Like, I will buy them off of you. I want them so bad. I don't usually do these, co like, these kind of things, but this... <laughs> Hey, things that turn Beetlejuice on to the max, you know what I mean? Part one. Babs. <laughs> you wanna get nuts? Come on! Let's get nuts. <laughs> things that turn Beetlejuice on to the max, part two. <laughs> the Black Plague. <laughs> Hey, can you remind me that you don't hate me? Because <laughs> I get insecure very easily. What's the problem? Well, it looks like it's time for me to take a hint and just go fuck myself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Yeah. I honestly I'm not a think good that's person. why we get along so well. I'm not a good person. Me neither. Yeah. I'm not gonna punch you in the face. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to make you feel good. <laughs> 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 okay. You did it, Beetlejuice! You won! You were victorious! You came in first, you took the prize, you gathered the laurels! You were- You get the point, babe. A little thesaurus humor goes a long way. Alright, man, I gotta go to work. I'll see you later. Alright, just remember, every day that you live is a day that I let you live. So my hair isn't blonde in my eyes. Well, I like my eyes. And my teeth certainly aren't green! Beetlejuice! Two more of those B words and I can come out and play, babes! Beetlejuice? That's two! Uh, uh, what you waiting for, Liz? I officially identify as a fucking problem. You're a fucking problem, but a problem nonetheless. You can't tell anyone about this, okay? It could ruin my whole reputation. Ah, uh, we wouldn't want that. Well, a fake reputation is all a man has. <laughs> Look in my eye, don't be scared, don't be shy, come on in, the water's fine You say the ocean's rising like I give a shit You say the whole world's ending, honey, it already did You're not gonna slow it, heaven knows you tried Got it good now
gonna get inside. You were dead! I saw you die! I was faking. I used ninja focus to slow my heart rate down. SpongeBob, you gotta ask him a question first. Oh yeah. What color is my underwear? You can pack your things and leave. There's the door. There's the door, bitch! <laughs> ah! Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! <laughs> what the fuck is up, Kyle? No, what did you say? What the fuck, dude? Step the fuck up, Kyle. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. More like Hurricane Dorn. We all die. You either kill yourself or get killed. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let me hop out the Porsche. I don't wanna hit that. Shut the up. Uh, no. Yeah! That was legitness. Yeah, it was. It it sounds like something she'd say. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> I want a church girl that go to church and read your Bible. I do love working here. It's just, we all have a lot of laughs. <laughs> Fuck off, Janet. I'm not going to your fucking baby. There's always fucking up my order, bro. I asked for spray and they gave me clown juice. <laughs> My head hits the wall. Shit, fuck a ball's piss, I say, as I slowly start realizing that Charlie is a homosexual. Alright, class, today we're gonna be welcoming a new student into our class. Everybody meet Jaquavius Thompson. Nah, jit, ugly. Nah, shoddy in love. Hey, uh, guys, cut it out. Nah. Motherfuckers be like manga ho, and then pull out these two. Come on, man, switch it up. Pull out these, okay? Excuse me? I lost my son. Can I please make an announcement? Of course. Goodbye, you little shit. Local feeling should not be rebuffed. Never rebuffed, and never rebuffed the local feeling. No, my friend! It's tough to be a guy. Thank you.